Every time I ever said, I want to die, I meant I am willing to do anything to live, even leave this world forever, even build a new home atop a nebula, stick a straw into a buried lake on Mars, get tipsy on anti-gravity, and invent new constellations walking the lines between undiscovered stars. When God pulls me over and asks, can you touch your nose? I could say, what nose? I'd be bodiless. A shadow in reverse, a patch of light made by the darkness I escaped. The psychology manual say no one really wants to die. They want relief. They believe they will never find it in this world. That belief could be right or wrong. One would have to stay to find out. Friend, if you stay, at least we will be together. And I have an extra straw. I could show you where the lakes on this planet are buried, how you do not need light years to reach them. The dark years work too, sometimes better. Sometimes grief is the fastest route to truth. In addition to the straw, I also have a slingshot that fires rock bottoms directly at the sun until change spills from its golden pockets. That's how I got my hands on this summer afternoon. We can do anything with it sunbathe or scream or forgive ourselves everything most especially the thread we could not convince to close our wounds if your wounds are still open trust they are doors to an answer and walk through what if we don't have to be healed to be whole there are holes in every inch of the fabric that makes me who i am but pull the string on my back and i'll say i love you and mean it whenever you want Come flood my home with your eyes. I read that people scream when they are in pain because screaming actually lessens the pain. Anyone who asks you to hold your tongue is asking you to hold the heaviest thing in the galaxy. Forget them and remember you can tell me anything about how hard it is to stop flirting with your expiration date. I understand being wooed by the finish line of sadness. Infinity still sends me nudes every day. I won't deny she looks amazing, but I'm taken. My hand now promised to writing every page of my story, except for its end. Friend, you are who taught me that a difficult life is not less worth living than a gentle one. Joy is just easier to carry than sorrow, and you could lift a city from how long you've spent holding what's been nearly impossible to hold. This world needs those who know how to do that, those who can find a tunnel with no light at the end of it and hold it up like a telescope to show that the darkness contains many truths that could bring the light to its knees. Grief astronomer, adjust the lens, look close. Tell us what you see.